Aaron Dean, the former Fort Worth police officer who fatally shot Antonia Jefferson in her home Saturday, was arrested and charged with murder Monday night. According to officials, officers were called to Jefferson's home to do a welfare check after the door was left open. As Lassie, Lucy Kavanaugh reports, Dean resigned from his job earlier today. The officer tendered his resignation this morning. Had the officer not resigned, I would have fired him for violations of several policies. Tonight, Fort Worth police announcing the white police officer who shot and killed 28-year-old Atatiana Jefferson is no longer on the force. The black woman was playing video games with her 8-year-old nephew inside her own home. Aaron Dean, ID 4598, was the officer who responded to the call and fired the shot that killed Tatiana. The officer still faces criminal charges from the major case investigation. This as Jefferson's family and community are calling for the federal government to step in. Fort Worth PD cannot investigate themselves. This man murdered someone. He should be arrested. Saturday around 2.25 a.m., police responded to a non-emergency call from a man concerned for his neighbor's safety. Well, the front doors have been open since 10 o'clock. I haven't seen anybody moving around. It's not normal for them to have both, both of the doors open this time of night. James Smith says his neighbor, an elderly woman with a heart condition, lives with her daughter, Atana, who worked in pharmaceutical equipment sales. Smith says he knew Jefferson was at home at the time, taking care of her sister's little boy. Minutes after his call to police, officers arrived at the house. This heavily edited body camera video released by Fort Worth police shows a male officer who never identified himself walking around the home. He shines a flashlight towards a dark room, yells verbal commands, opening fire two seconds later. Put your hands up, show me your hands. Drop. Jefferson was pronounced dead inside her bedroom. My son, who was there to witness the event, he told me because the police had killed his, had shot his aunt. And at that time, I knew nothing about that. So he was the one who actually told me what had what happened. Tonight, questions remain as to why that officer did not announce that he was a police officer before firing. Sunday, the community held a candlelight vigil for Jefferson. I stand here in support of a beautiful 28-year-old who was senselessly gunned down in her home. A haven, her home, a place she should have been safe. Saturday's shooting is the ninth police shooting this year involving Fort Worth police, seven of them deadly. This happened Saturday. Why this man is not in handcuffs right now is, is a source of continued agitation for this family and for this community. Now Jefferson's neighbor, James Smith, is wrestling with his decision to call police. I feel guilty because had I not called the Fort Worth Police Department, my neighbor would still be alive today. Lee Merritt, an attorney for Jefferson's family, said Jefferson had a legally owned gun and a license to carry. He said Jefferson had every right to have the gun with her when she and her nephew thought someone was lurking near her home.